Hello, beautiful black people. I hope that all is well in your world. And, and this beautiful day has been an excellent day for you and all of your wonderful, wonderful, wonderful loved ones. <clears throat> My <clears throat> beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters, the word is, the word is black scent, and you spell it B-L-A-C-C-E-N-T, and it's pronounced black scent. This is the thing that these unscrupulous white folks will do in an attempt to make themselves cool, and hip to young black folks. Imagine, imagine a white guy like Joe Biden, a white guy like Trump calling Charlemagne the God my main man using this black scent, which is, my opinion, has explicit negative connotations because they are using this black scent vernacular to say that this is how this white person think black people sound. This is how black folks talk, which is bullshit. Which is bullshit. White folks, white folks, white folks, white folks, listen to this. You do not endear E-N-D-E-A-R, yourself, to black folks, people that look like me, by trying to talk the way you believe that black folks do. Rather, you endear yourself to black folks people that look like me. Or, even better than that, you endear yourself to all folks by being genuine, by being honest, by being truthful. Again, you endear yourself to all folks by being honest, by being truthful, by being genuine, by being authentic white folks. That's how you endear yourself to black folks. There's no need to insult us by using black scent. It is offensive to us. It is insulting to us. You go to Charlemagne the God and you refer to him as my man or calling him dude. That is not endearing. That is fakery. That is bullshit. When talking to black folks, be genuine, be honest, be truthful, be authentic, and you might endear yourself to those black folks. There are two types of parties 
right here on this plantation called America. There are two parties now. There is a party of traitors and there is a party of patriots. The traitors believe in Russian supporters, in Russian support for Trump. And the traitor will denigrate Democrats or denigrate anyone that disagree with their position. That's what the Republican Party does every day. The traitors want to deny easy access to voting. Look how they are raging this fake as war against mail in voting, a home a home voting, suggesting that it uh, invites fraud without presenting any evidence. There is no evidence. Voter fraud does not exist right here on this plantation called America. The Republican Party, the party of traitors, have installed voter suppression methods that limit access to voting, especially for black folks and brown folks for black folks, people that look like me. The Trump, the Trump administration and the Republican Party has decided in the middle of a pandemic that brown folks and black folks are expendable because those brown folks and those black folks are not Republican supporters. 20,000 black folks have died from COVID-19. The communities that are disproportionately affected are black communities. Trump and his administration, the Re lily white Republican Party know this. Therefore, they are going all full speed forward, full throttle on opening up the economy because they know that the people that are going to be infected are brown folks and black folks and white folks that 40 45% that support Trump and the Republican Party will be able to revive their economic status to maintain what they want at the expense of more black folks and brown folks dying as a result of COVID-19. You see how those Republicans and the Trump administration have launched a campaign not to wear a mask? You see the Trump supporters out in public, in retail stores, on beaches, in offices, refusing to wear a mask, infecting other folks, they have decided that black folks are expendable. They have decided that brown folks are expendable. They have decided that the more black and brown folks die, the less black folks that will lessen the number of black folks and brown folks that are voting against the Republican Party. Opening up 
the economy is going to kill more black folks, more brown folks. We have two parties in America. We have a party of traitors, the Republican Party, and we have a party of patriots, the Democratic Party. The Republican Party have created gerrymandered districts, gerrymandered districts where the Republican politicians literally choose the voters that will vote for them. They are able to choose their own voters by gerrymandering the congressional districts. We have two parties in America, a party of traitors called the Republican Party and a party of patriots called the Democratic Party. The Republican Party, the party of traitors, are discrediting whistleblowers. They are discrediting truth tellers. They are discrediting real patriots. The Trump administration is on a mission to eliminate truth tellers in the government, to eliminate whistleblowers in the federal government. We have two parties, a party of traitors and a party of patriots. Trump administration had have eliminated all of the checks and balances, all of the checks and balances that are put in place to make sure that no branch of government assert, asserts more power or more corruption, more crime than what is allowed. Trump have eliminated all checks and balances. They are encouraging foreign interference in our elections. They have conspired with Russians, conspired with the Saudis and other foreign folks to steal elections. The Republican Party, the party of traitors, are only interested in power and control. They are no longer interested in doing anything for the American people. The only value that the party of traitors have in their cadre of weapons is they value the lives of white folks. It's an elite club and interest an and entrance into that club is their whiteness, their whiteness. They have no respect for the rule of law. Traitors have no respect for the rule of law. Traitors have no respect for individual rights. Traitors have no respect for democracy. We have two parties right here on this plantation called America. We have a party of traitors, the Republican Party, and we have a party of patriots, the Democratic Party. That's what I have on this one. Please go to the Thrasher Way dot L-I-B-S-Y-N dot com. There you will have access 
to all that I do. Talk to you again on another one.